Hey guys, uh, welcome to Friday Film Time episode 4. Um, this one is going to be a double feature as um, last week um, I did record Friday Film Time about The Amazing Spider-Man 2 but it kind of, um, it kind of lost, I don't know how but I lost the footage and I lost all my, uh, I lost all my recordings so I thought uh, instead of uh, doing it during the week I thought I'd do double feature so this week I'm going to talk about uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 and I'm going to also talk about Transcendence. Right, first film is obviously going to be Amazing Spider-Man 2. I did really enjoy this film. Uh, I liked how it follows, obviously, from the first film, uh, where Dr. Kurt Connors was the bad guy. Um, I really enjoyed the fact that it did follow, the, it has followed the comic books um, to an extent, obviously. In my personal opinion, uh, Daniel, Daniel DeHaan, uh, Han, Han, I, I think that's how it's spelled, pronounced, um, plays a really good Harry Osborn. I believe he is a little better than James Franco was uh, in the trilogy with uh, Tobey Maguire. Uh, but um, Michael J. J. Fox also plays a very good bad guy. But with his character, I didn't really like his costume that much. And um, I like I liked the fact on how the how he became to be Electro. But like I said, the costume was a bit too. It was a bit too bad, I think. It was just a little bit bad. Um, obviously, I really enjoyed the fact that it did follow the comic books to how it how um, some stuff happened. I'm not going to uh, spoil anything, but there are a few things that happened in this film that I thought were going to happen in the next film. And I'm really looking forward to see what they're going to do for the next film. Um, and also... I hated the fact with the trailer when they showed Rhino. I thought Rhino was going to be in it for a good ten sort of minutes, ten twenty minutes, because obviously he's not—he wasn't the major bad guy. He only played a cameo in it. But it kind of—it was. I was thinking, really, why did you put him in the trailer? You could have had a few extra bits um, when I was watching. This is when I was watching it, and also they didn't have like any little special after things. It just only showed after the credits. It only just showed um, the. A uh, little uh, five-minute clip from X-Men: Days of Future Past, which I'm really looking forward to when it comes out uh, May 22nd. Uh, you know, and the other bad thing with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was way too much animation. I'm, although I know it's uh, supposed, it's going to have a lot of animation. I knew that when I was doing, but I didn't realise it was going to have that much animation and CGI. Um, but it was a good film. I liked how it followed the story. Um, I liked how it went into a bit more depth with Peter's parents and how everything kind of came to full circle and you found out what happened uh, in the past when he got left at um, his aunt and uncle's, which I really enjoyed that. Um, also, uh, I am looking forward to the third one to see how they're going to do it and what, who's going to be the bad, main bad guy in it. I think it will just be like, uh, obviously, um, Go Hobgoblin... Um, uh, Rhino, Oc, Dr. Ock, um, whoever it's going to be, I'm really going to look forward to it and I will end up watching it when it comes out. Right, second film, Transcendence. Watched it, was really, really disappointed with it. I was so disappointed. I w this was a film that I was actually going to, I was looking forward to, to watch this year. Um, one, it made me think about how humans and technology have evolved together and how we depend on technology a lot to communicate with everyone and everything and how we're trying to advance it to a different level and it, at this precise moment in time in our history um, apart from that um, the story was basically this film was okay at best it wasn't Johnny Depp's best work um, the story was weak how it was it was weak um, I really, I was really disappointed with it. Uh, um, the acting was good, but it was not Johnny Depp's best. It was not. It was, it was. Like I said, I was really disappointed with it. I was looking forward to watching this, uh, this film this year. I don't really want. If I said anything about what happens in the film, it kind of would ruin. It would kind of ruin watching the film. But in my personal opinion. If you're gonna watch it, you will. Uh, if you're gonna watch it, watch it. But it's one of those films that you wouldn't really particularly buy on DVD um, or Blu-ray, depending on what you have. Yeah, 
that's all I can really say about it. It was just, it was uh, like the story. Yeah, the story. Like I said, that uh, overall the film was just okay at best. But like I said, it just got me to think. It got me to think throughout the film about how we've evolved as a human race and how technology has developed so fast over like three decade over the past three decades on how fast it's evolved even from when it uh, first even when technology came around in the early 1900s properly like computer chips and that sort of stuff but that's all I can really say about this particular film right ratings for Amazing Spider-Man 2 I'm gonna have to give it a four um, I really enjoyed it uh, but it was just too many uh, too much animation CGI um, it is good in 3D, um, like I said, it's like uh, with Captain America, I would not have been disappointed if I watched it just in 2D, um, but with Transcendence, I'm only going to have to give it a, I'm going to only have to gonna give it a 3. Um, it's, the story is okay, it, like I said, it got me thinking, but just throughout, it was just an okay film at best, and that's my re ratings on it, it was just that. Right, that's the end of Friday Film Time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'd like to know what you think. Uh, so leave uh, comments down below. Uh, if you've got any questions, tweet me, comment, um, maybe like, favourite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.